Chow Chin Chow, Slanter Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ash Grey Nuzlocke in the last episode. What? We did a l quite a bit of things. We started off in Celadon City doing a few things with the Pokemon Lovers Club and the uh, Salon. And then we went here to Grimy City where we dealt with the Power Plant and Diglett's Garden. But today we are taking on the Pokemon P1 Grand Prix. It is going to be rather interesting. We have Mad in our party. That is it. And it took me a while to train up Mad. It really did. Uh, I had to use the Versus Seeker and the Lucky Egg and switch training using my actual team. So this is going to be rather interesting. You only have fighting types in this tournament and you only have one Pokemon. So yeah. This is Mad's moveset. Toxic, Aerial Ace, Brick Break and Dig. Level 31. Ready to go in there. Hopefully we'll do okay. I was planning on recording with Hugo today, but um, he's got some things to deal with. So I'm going to let him deal with those things, and then we'll see if we're able to record late. Uh, we'll still if we're able to record. Welcome to the Pokemon number one Grand Prix. Ah, so you have a fighting Pokemon. Very well. Then let the contest begin. Haha! -ha. Your first opponent shall be your last. Well, if I can nail Aerial Ace, I should be okay. That's what I'm saying. This tournament, I should be okay in this tournament if I can nail Aerial Ace. But that's the problem. That is the problem. I'm nailing myself in confusion. I don't obey. Ah, oh, there we go. Wow, it lived. Somehow it lives that. Mad? Oh, mad, no. This is not the time, mad. I don't really have... I buy potions? Please say I bought potions before coming in. I have potions. I have potions. I'm fine. <laughs> Heal up. I'm fine. I am fine. I am not losing the Nuz... I don't know if I should count this as a Nuzlocke loss if I lose due to the fact that Mad will not obey me. I don't know. But that's first that's the first round. What? It seems like Primeape is impressed at how you cared for it in battle. It appears to respect you right now. Primeape has topped up to win the competition. I guess I'm not P1 material. No, you're not. That round two begin. Well if Mad will listen to me now, which is uh, if Mad is going to listen to me then this should be a piece this should be a cakewalk this should be a walk in the park if matt is if matt is willing to listen to me this should be a walk in the park because if we can nail the aerial aces this is it like honestly i will kick i will kick everyone's ass here if i can nail aerial ace that's all i ask that's literally all i ask for nail aerial ace Dead Machoke. Can we do that again? Let round three commence. All right, so this is last 32, last uh, 16, last eight. Here we go. I'm at level 25, Machamp. Just nail Aerial Ace and we should be fine. I mean, if you're not going to hit me, I'm definitely fine. If you're just going to start doing that, I'm perfectly fine to continue being in here. The annoying thing is I don't get a chance to heal between rounds. Like, if I could run to the Pokemon Center or if I could... Uh... Yeah, if I could run to the Pokemon Center or if I could... Uh... I don't know... 
possibly maybe like use potions in between rounds instead of just like text boxes coming up then yeah i'd be perfect absolutely perfect here all right semi-finals we can't wait for our chance to show you our goody goody uh what a goody good uh show you goody goody what a loser you are we stole this Pokemon specially to win championship belts. We're going to be the winners round here. Which Pokemon is this? Oh, it's a Hitmonlee. Level 28 Hitmonlee. This is going to be a rather... I need to heal. If I'm facing a level 28 Hitmonlee, I need to heal. Jump kick. I don't like that. I really... I mean, jump kick I'm fine with. Uh, high jump kick would be dangerous here. So... I mean, I'll take a chance to get a toxic off if I can get one. Brick break. I take that. And lefty's recovery is really nice. I mean, I like the fact that I have lefties. Toxic, doing the work. Aerial Ace come through. One more of those should be enough to kill this thing and put me in the finals. Ah, it's a crit. Would you not? Would you not? There we go. Level 32. Not bad, Mad. You may have lost the fighting to us, but you haven't heard the last of us yet. We're blasting off again. Let the finals of the P1 Grand Prix begin. So you made it to the finals, huh? That's pretty impressive, but you won't go any further. I hope I go further. I mean, you got a Hitmonchan. Level 30. I need to heal again. T-Punch. Okay, I take that. I take that. I, I take that rather well, actually. No, I don't need to heal now. I don't need to heal. No, no, no. I said I don't need to heal. There we go. Come through. That does decent damage, but it's going to be a free hit kill, isn't it? I can handle this, though. I feel like this has made, like, important story. I'm running out of Aerial Aces, though. That's the annoying thing here. I'm running out of Aerial Aces. One more Aerial Ace should do it, but, like, I'm kind of running low. Don't crit me. Come on, Matt. You can do this. One more Aerial Ace. There we go. I got a throw in the towel. Anthony is a worthy... I lost to... I lost to a worthy opponent. You deserve the P1 Grand Prix Championship. Now I can go... Uh, and be a family man. And stop all this tough training until next year. Congratulations on your victory at the P1 Grand Prix. Please accept this prize. It's a black belt. Nice. Thank you so much. Now my daddy can be at home with us and we can be a family again. Ash, I am impressed with your primate. It's got a lot of fighting talent. Why don't you let me train it for a while? I promise I'll turn it into a real P1 champion. Ah, sure, why not? So now select the primate you want to give to me. Well... This can't be your only Pokemon. Please put some Pokemon in storage first. Uh, please take some Pokemon out of storage first. All right, fine. I'll take my actual team out of storage. And there. Now I have... Now select your Primeape and give it to me. All right, there you go. 
Thanks, Ash. I will turn your Prime Ape into a real champion. You'll see. I mean, sure. Why not? I mean, I'm kind of annoyed that you just took my primate, but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to use it. So uh, I wasn't planning on it being part of the official team. This is the team. It's taken me to this part of the league. It's taken me this far, and it's continuing to do me the job. Aerial Ace has been, did that really well. I'm surprised how well Aerial Ace did that. Right, it looks like Hugo actually might be able to record today, so I hate to do this. I really do. But I think I might segment this video and then come back to you guys after I've recorded to, uh, after I've recorded with Hugo. So, I'll be back in a I'll be back in a bit. Okie dokie, we are back. Sorry about that. I did have to go and record with Hugo. Uh, uh so yeah. This episode is going to be all over the place, but I think it's—I still think it's going to be a good episode. So I hope you guys will enjoy it, because you know uh, things—you know things are happening. I don't want to s spoil anything that just happened with Hugo, because you'll get to see that episode eventually. It's basically—it's uh, more Crystal Versus, and that would. Uh, that would be the finale episode of Crystal Versus. What uh, what I just recorded with Hugo. That's all I'm going to say on the matter. Nothing else will be said on the matter throughout the entire episode. I will not be giving you guys spoilers. I am not that guy. All I can tell you is it will be the finale. There will be no more episodes after that episode has been released. We'll be starting the next series after that with Hugo. I don't, I don't really when I next get the chance to record with Hugo. I don't know when that next series is going to start. But uh, I'm very excited for it. Let me just say that. I'm going to I'm going to reattach my speed button. Whilst we're randomly running through this cave here. There we go. Okay, so we made it out here to the last episode, the underground path, Route 17 to Route 11. And that's where I'm going to go through this time. If I remember correctly, there was... I think I remember a, a, an episode where... Like, there was a cycling... There was cycling road, and there was this, like... Uh, power plant that was out uh, as of electricity and there's uh, like this hurt Pokemon I remember I remember a lot of things about the anime that's weird oh this is the bottom half of route 9 oh okay this is the bottom half of route 9 Okay. What do you have for me? Level 24s. I mean... I can handle this really easily. Too easily, if anything. Oh, you kind of lived. Okay. I mean, you have a fear of your own, so I guess you would live. What's this? To enter the poison chamber and master the uh, master the ninja, turn south and go back. All right. I'm guessing that's the gym. Like Koga's gym, maybe. If you could, like, wake up, that'd be great. Anytime you want to do that, that'd be fantastic. Hyperfank, dead. There we go. 
These are just random battles at this moment in time. The inscription on the, s on the statue inside that mansion is rather cryptic, isn't it? I'm not sure, but I think it reflects more on the statue itself more than anything. Oh, okay. To enter the point of the chamber, master the attack. Uh, a ninja must turn south and go back. Oh. There's a wall here. Okay. Or some kind of like button because I can press that and uh, the floor lights up. But I don't, again, not sure about that. Very not sure about what I need to do there. Oh, I know what this, I know what this is. I, know, I think I know what this is. Five years ago. This is Tommy! Yeah. Tommy and the Kangaskhan! I remember this one! Five years ago, we lost our boy Tommy to this wilderness. We haven't seen... Uh, uh, we were told he's been seen with a wild Kangaskhan. Please find him. Alright. Uh, Freeze! Drop that Pokeball! My name is Jenny of Safari Ranger. You're under arrest for Pokemon poaching. Did you know this whole area is a reserve? Well, I guess I'll let you off with a warning this time. Just don't try and catch anything here. Uh, and look out for poachers. All right, fine. I won't catch anything here. This is a Nuzlocke after all, but still... Oh, this is Fuchsia! This is a Pokemon reserve. I'm not allowed to catch Pokemon. <laughs> as much as I would love to catch this Cypher, I'm not allowed to. I promised Jenny I wouldn't. Limey Big P Ranch. Famed Pokemon research. You little sidewainer. I mean, all right. I'll battle you. Don't tell me you didn't know this whole area was a reserve. It's against the law to catch Pokemon here. Have you ever heard of the Big P Pokemon Ranch before? Owned by the Lamel family? No, I've never heard of it. This is the Big P Pokemon Ranch. I am Laura Lamel. We're having a big race here tomorrow to see who the best Pokemon in the world is. I'm entering with my Ponyta. Howdy, Laura! I'm going to win that big race of yours tomorrow. Just get ready to lose, Lara. My arm was pretty injured when, uh, uh when Ponyta spooked my, uh, when Ponyta got spooked by that d Dodrio. When my arm hurts, I won't be able to enter the race tomorrow. What can I do? Ponyta seems really spooked. Will you try and calm it down? Ponyta is extremely agitated. Ponyta, calm down. Ash, it seems like Ponyta trusts you. Maybe you'll be able to enter the race for me. And uh, ride my Ponyta. Please give it a try. I'll be waiting for you at my ranch. So, Ash, you ready to enter the big race with Ponyta? Sure. All right, good luck. 
do 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 This is going to be a rather interesting race. Oh. Okay, there's a water section now. Oh, I lost. Can I try again? I just got a note of frames. I think I think I know how to deal with this place. It just got a note of frames. Oh. Right, I know the fr I know the frames now. I know what I need to do. Let's do it. Third time's a charm. There we go! What an incredible upset! Ash and Ponyta win the Pokemon Challenge! Congratulations to this year's Pokemon Challenge Champion! Let's give a big hand to Laura Lauren uh, and the winning rider Ash! Thank you Ash! You proved yourself to be a fantastic Pokemon trainer. As thanks for your help, please take this. The Click Claw! Thank you! Can I have your Ponyta? I promised Officer Jenny I wouldn't catch a Pokemon here. This is Future City now, so this is not part of the Pokemon re- uh, This is a place where I can catch a Pokemon. Uh, is there a Pokemon Center around here? Because I probably would like to heal. If anything, I'd like to heal. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's the Pokemon Center. There's the Mart. Thank you. Is this the move deleter? I mean, with HM replacement, I don't really need you anymore, but it's cool that you still exist. It's very cool that you still exist, but I was thinking, like, do I even need a move to... Do I even need a move deleter now? I don't have a... Uh... Okay, so that's... Nah, a strength rock is now a uh, another kind of rock, and I can't deal with that just yet. Uh, give me the good rod. Hey, got the good rod. Nice. Okay, got the good rod. I guess we'll go into the safari zone. Yeah, I guess we'll go in the safari zone. We're and deal with that area. It could be really interesting, actually. I don't know what the, like, rules are with the... I mean, I have my own Safari Zone rules when it comes to Nuzlocke's basically saying that if a Pokemon tries to run, it's not my encounter. That's my rule when it comes to Safari Zones. Hold on! You want to get shot, kid? Oh! I can. Banned episode of the anime, but okay. Then listen up. I'm a caretaker of the Safari Zone. For a payment of $500, you can enter the Safari Zone. You can catch a certain amount. 
you'll get a certain amount of TAM um, and 30 special Pokeballs called Safari Balls. And you can't use any of your Pokemon. Break any of those rules and there's a f and my Thunderbolt Revolver will burn you. So you got it? You want to play? Yeah, this episode is actually banned in the UK. Because, well, a banned in a banned in the Western world, despite being shown in Japan. Because, well, uh, it shows a gun, and we know what the world is like with guns. I mean, personally, I'm okay with showing guns, but somebody is not. Uh, some people are not okay with showing guns, especially in uh, especially in cartoon shows. So. Uh, you know, this episode got banned, didn't even get dubbed, unlike some episodes of the anime. This one didn't actually even get dubbed. I was thinking we are going to see the Porygon episode, but I haven't, I mean, I haven't been there yet. So I'm still hoping we get to see that episode too. Hey, there's Tommy! You Pokemon of people, my name is Tomo. I protect the Kangaskhan. What? Mama and Papa are looking for me. Mama, Kangaskhan. Me, Mama, my Mama. I have people, Mama, too. I go see. Okay. I remember that episode. I remember Tomo and the Kangaskhan kid. That episode was uh, that episode got through, and that is a, a very fun episode. I really enjoyed that episode. I'm surprised we haven't run into a Pokemon here yet. I, I can catch Pokemon in the Safari Zone. I just haven't run into anything yet. And somehow, don't ask me how, but I'm remembering how to get through this place. Hey, Steam Rocket! We're trying to capture a Regitini! We'll use our... Uh, we'll use the special Team Rocket underwater electric bomb to make the water Pokémon go belly up. And we'll catch a Dratini to shore. Just try and stop us. Okay. I will try and stop you. I will very much try and stop you. Uh, this is probably a bad fight for you. Knowledge. Oh, I don't like the Leah. I mean, I already have kind of bad defenses already with no uh, with knowledge. But knowledge is very speedy, so he's able to handle this. There we go. Level forty. And we're trying to learn Drill Pack. I'm going to get rid of Leah. I'll keep Area Ace because of the fact it never misses. But I want Drill Pack too. And Weezing. I'm surprised I haven't seen his other Pokemon yet. Like, we, uh, like Victory Bell and uh, Lickitung. You'll never know uh, who wins until the round ends, Twerp. The electric bomb t will turn the tables. No! If that bomb explodes, all the Pokemon in the lake will be... It's the legendary Pokemon Dragonair. It's throwing the bomb back at Team Rocket. We're blasting off again! This is the same Dratini that I met all those years ago. It's grown so well. You saved Dratini, thank you. Please take this as your reward. A Dragon Scale! Thanks to you, uh, 
I was able to see my beloved Dragonair again one last time. Now I'm even more determined to protect it from greedy trainers. TM32 for double team. I was appointed by the warden to watch over this safari zone. I was taking a nap when I heard the huge explosion. I hope everything turned out okay. Or the warden will put the b bullet in my head. If you promise not to tell him I was sleeping on the job, I'll give you this TM I found. TM02! Dragon Claw? It's a very, very powerful dragon type move. I was thinking you'd give me Surf. Or whatever the HM replacement for Surf is. Because, you know, I can't s swim in these waters. Right, I need to get an encounter for the Safari Zone. If they, if those encounters code it. Can I get an encounter? Is there, is there actually Pokemon... Uh, there we go. Right, Safari Zone rules. If a Pokemon runs away, I don't have to catch it. I'm only allowed to throw balls, nothing else. That's Safari Zone clause. Can't go near, can't throw mud, can't throw bait. Whatever I catch is my encounter. This Tauros is my encounter. I know... I know that Ash catches like 30 of them in that band episode that you'll never see. And the, those Tauros are just there on uh, on Professor Oak's ranch. And we never... And nobody ever knows why because that episode was never dubbed. Yep, I'm back already. Done with what I needed to do. Right, so I'm going to end today's episode here. I caught my encounter for the Safari Zone. Oh, wait, yep, maybe we should... You know what? We should go and... We should go and talk to Kangaskhan and... Uh, stuff before we end today's episode. So let me heal and then we'll talk. Uh, we'll go and find this. Uh, we'll go and find Kangaskhan again. Because that's like an all nice, all well that ends well moment. Here it is. I'm so happy that we were able to find my boy. You were able to find my boy again. We decided to live here with the Kangaskhan and our boy. Mama's so happy. Taro decided to stay with Mama and Kang Mama Kangaskhan and people Mama too. As thanks for your help, Mom Taro will teach your Pokemon uh, a Pokemon move from Mama Kangaskhan. You want to learn it? This move can only be learned once. It's the move Substitute. Everyone can learn it. Oh, if I could give this to Nollit. Oh, is it good on knowledge? I mean, I think it'd be rather good on killer, if anything. I mean, I wouldn't normally... Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't normally learn substitute because it's not the best to move. But killer's beefy enough to, like, to take a hit and to deal damage from behind a substitute. I think killer would be... Like, really good with it. But I'm not sure. Ah, nah, I can't do it. No substitute learned, why not? But anyway, that is going to be the end of today. You know what? Before we end off today's episode, let me kill a Pokemon here. There we go. There we go. So that now counts as a sacrifice drought. Anyway, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to love Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody at Pokemon. Good night!
thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please leave a like comment and subscribe for more videos and of course you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when those videos come out you can follow me on twitter at lantern joe where you'll get news thoughts and opinions from me joe and the rest of the lantern nation and of course if you're a fan of this sort of thing then you might like power zone metal a radio show presented by me and my brother dan aka the gentleman of metal you can find out more information about that on powerzonemetal.uk and of course, if you want to watch more videos, you can watch them by clicking in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. And of course, until next time, from me, Joe, and from the rest of the Lantern Nation, we'll see you again.